Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see um, uh, examples related to orthogonal vectors using Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so um, according to the according to Pythagorean theorem, in from basic algebra we have seen, if we have a right triangle in, in this manner, and if we were to say uh, this is side C and this is side A and this is side B okay and if we call these uh, as A C and B A B and C and if this is a right triangle and that is 90 degrees uh, according to the Pythagorean theorem the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two legs so this is the Pythagorean theorem for this is from basic algebra now we can use the same concept for vectors as well. If u is a vector and if v is another vector uh, and if these vectors are in Rn space then using the Pythagorean theorem we can state this as follows. Vector u plus vector v the magnitude of that raised to the power of 2 is going to be equal to vector u, the magnitude of vector u raised to the power of 2 plus magnitude of vector v raised to the power of 2. Or we can also state this one as vector u plus vector v, the magnitude of that is going to be equal to the square root of vector u the magnitude of vector u raised to the power of 2 plus the magnitude of vector v raised to the power of 2. Also u and vector u and vector v are orthogonal or perpendicular if uh, if uh, vector u dot vector v is equal to 0, isn't it? So that is another condition we can we can check. In terms of uh, graphical representation we can represent this as follows. If I were to draw a graph here, and if this is my graph, if this is x, this is y, and if I were to pick, if this is the origin here, if I were to pick some points, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then one, two, three, and so on. One, two, three, negative one, negative two, negative three. This is positive one, positive two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. And this is one, two, three, four, and so on. If if I wait to represent a vector in this manner, let us say this vector here is two comma four. We're going to travel two units on the positive um, uh, x-axis and four units on the positive y-axis. So that is the point we want to be in. So if I were to represent that as a vector, and if this is vector u, the magnitude of vector u, and then I have another vector, which is in this manner, in this form here, 5 comma negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the positive x-axis and 1, 2 on the negative y-axis. So if I were to start from the origin and then join this by a straight line and if I were to represent this by vector v, the magnitude of vector v, and by joining these two by a dotted line, joining these two by a dotted line, we can this the, this length of this uh, point. If I call this as A and if I call this as B, the length AB, the line segment AB, will be vector u plus vector v. The magnitude of that uh, will be that will be that. And then, uh, as you can as we can see here, this measure here is going to be equal to 90 degrees. So therefore. 
according to the Pythagorean theorem, the square on the hypotenuse is exactly is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two legs. So that the Pythagorean theorem is applicable to vector theory as well. In my next presentation, we shall use this Pythagorean theorem um, to solve some problems related to orthogonal vectors.